Hello and welcome to a tutorial I've been wanting to get to for a while. This one is on the Actually Editions Item Laser Relay. Um, basically, I'd like to show how they're used, um, what they're good for, and what they're not good for. Um, now, one thing that's a common misconception because, you know, it looks like it, it's not item transfer. Um, it is, in fact, uh, like, to connect inventories. So, to, to start a laser network, you'll need to have an item interface here, um, and then a, re a relay connected to the interface, as well as a relay connected to um, an inventory. So in this case, we'll just be using a storage crate. Now I have, um, you can see the um, uh, the tool tips here if I do shift. Now, as you can see here, the, em the emeralds are stored here, but they're also stored in this item interface because this in this um, inventory is connected via the laser relay. So as you can see, they're stored there. Now, if I were to take a um, a hopper, for example, and put it like that, you can see the items coming through the laser and out of the item interface. So what that's to show is the fact that um, these don't transfer items by themselves, they merely connect inventories. So we could do the same thing, you know, with multiple uh, inventories. And the the uh, as long as they're connected, they're all the same network. So you can see now we have diamonds and emeralds in the same network. And we'll be able to pull them both out with a hopper. Now, this also works for inputting items. So let's say you have, you know, just take our uh, emeralds and diamonds back out. And we can do like that. Now you can see it'll go here. And then once this is full, it'll go there. Now, we can also set um, with the compass, we can change priority. So if we do like that, it'll be higher priority, it'll go into this one. And then you can see lower priority, like so. Now, if I were to guess, this probably... Um, is based on the, I actually don't know why it's going to this one rather than, or this one by default than this one. It might be random. It might just be the last one in line. So like it fills the last first. Um, but either way, that might not be important. Now, one thing that, that, that you can use to set filters um, are these advanced item laser relays. Now, in general, you'll only need the regulars. However, these advanced ones have... Um, a uh, filter slot here. So this can only do except diamonds. Now if we do connect these up again, like so, we put diamonds in here, you can see it'll only go into there. Now we can do the same thing here with emeralds. Uh, we can connect this up. We're going to do a different way this time. And you can see the emeralds are going in there, diamonds are going in there. Pretty straightforward. Um, so the next thing that I'd like to show you is um, hopping item interfaces and then um, a way to use the, um, what is it called, the empowerer. So I'd like to set up a little empowerer setup. All right, now these function essentially the same way as hoppers, unsurprisingly. So in this case, you might expect the items to be placed that are placed here to be sent directly into the interface, um, not needing, you know, an additional hopper. So we're going to connect this up and you can see the items going into the correct chest. Now let's do the other one, which has them going into this crate. So if we disconnect here, we can see this So the issue there was I needed to set an empty white or an empty blacklist to allow any item. This is the default, um, and in that case, it's not actually able to pull any items out. You need to turn that off. So this hopping item interface is you is basically acting like a hopper. Items that are inside the network will go into 
um, attached inventories. So we can either use it to pull items directly into the network or send items from the network directly into an inventory. Next, I'd like to show you a simple way to automate the empower using laser relays. Now, there's something that is helpful to understand about um, how these work. The, this, the empower itself can't receive items um, that it doesn't have a recipe for. So if you see, um, like, it, we can't in, in, insert an emerald into this because there's no recipe for this. However, if we check, you know, the empowered recipe, well, actually, this mod doesn't have an empowered recipe for that, but um, like this, this has a recipe, we can, empo we can uh, empower it, so it can go in. So that's something to understand about um, the empowers. It only accepts items it has recipes for. The second thing to understand is that it can only extract items um, that are finished. So as you can see, it's not extracting um, this unempowered block. So we can use those two to set up a more simple automation than would otherwise be possible. Um, so the other thing is the display stands themselves. Now these can accept anything and they don't stop pulling. So we can put a drawer on. These are literally just a display stand. And then they can also, they'll pull anything. So they do not have a slot. They don't have filtered slots. So what we have here is a regular item re relay here. And what we're going to do is we're going to use advanced item relays with the, um, the item that's going to go in this slot um, is going to be a blacklist. So we're going to turn on blacklist mode for the item in the center. That way, the only place the center item can go is the middle. So we're gonna do that to all of these. We're gonna turn them all to blacklist. And now when we hook this up, um, the only thing that can go here, um, or more accurately, the only things that can go here are things that are allowed to go here. And then in order to start the process, we have a hopping item interface, which is underneath this inventory here, which means that it will try to send the, these items into each place that it can. Um, and because it's a hopping item interface, it will attempt to send items that are in the laser network. In other words, um, output from this into this drawer here. Now, because this is unlocked, um, we, it will basically put this item straight on here and then straight on in here. So what we're going to do is we're going to lock this first so that it can't do that. Um, I'm also going to just keep this topped off. All right. So what's going to happen here is when we connect these, we're going to see the center item, this one, um, this is the recipe we're doing, show up in the middle and then everything else show up on the sides so let's make that happen so i'm going to connect these like this actually just to be a little fancier we're going to connect this one first and you can see there it goes um, and then we're going to do this 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 now if i haven't done anything wrong blacklist for that uh that should be working all right, so after a little bit of troubleshooting, I have determined that the hopping item interface only tries to um, extract the first item it can. It won't cycle through. So I've just replaced essentially the pulling function of the item interface with a pushing function of the hopper. So this should work. Uh, it'll only do, you know, one at a time. So it's a little slower. Now, um, all we have to do here in order to continue the process is put this item here. Now you can see it's just automatically crafting. Now there's a couple of cool things about you using lasers uh, for the empower. Um, it's not a lot of setup is the main thing and it's very quick. And if we use this hopping interface, it automatically exports um, what is you know accessible. Now keep in mind this will try to export stuff as we saw from display stands. So if we if we see, you know, if we have something being in, inserted into the display stand, it'll automatically be pulled out. 
um, unlike the um, empower itself, which can't uh, accept things that it doesn't have a recipe for, and it can't extract things that it doesn't um, have in its finished slot. Uh, so that makes it so you don't have to filter it. automatically does that for you. So the way I'm filtering the, the uh, exporting here is just by having a locked drawer. So it can only put this item in here. And if we had a bit, a bit of faster item transfer rate, this would be super fast. Because we're, we're limited by this hopper's speed right now. But as you can see, this is a, a very quick and painless way to do item transfer. Um, even though it's technically, again, it's not item transfer, it's item storage. So using it in... Uh, or inventory connection, I should say. Um, so using it in this method um, is is pretty uh, pretty efficient. Now we could just have an inventory here um, with our items, and then use item pipes of some sort to pipe into all of these. Um, but um, yeah, this way is less uh, filtering, and it looks cooler. So there is the empower basic setup and also item lasers.